Welcome back to the Neurology Channel. Today, we're delving into a critical topic that has garnered significant attention in the world of neurology, understanding CTE, or chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Let's start by understanding what CTE is. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, is a neurodegenerative brain disease. It's often associated with repetitive head trauma, such as concussions or blows to the head, commonly found in sports like football, hockey, and boxing. CTE is a complex neurodegenerative brain disease with a clear link to repetitive head trauma. It has become particularly relevant due to its association with contact sports like football, hockey, and boxing, where athletes are at a higher risk of sustaining head injuries. At its core, CTE is characterized by the gradual degeneration of brain tissue over time, resulting in a range of cognitive and behavioral symptoms. It's important to note that these symptoms may not become apparent until years or even decades after the head injuries occur, making CTE a challenging condition to diagnose and manage. The hallmark of CTE is the accumulation of abnormal protein deposits, including tau protein, in the brain. These deposits are believed to disrupt normal brain function and lead to the deterioration of brain tissue. Over time, Repeated brain injuries can lead to the accumulation of abnormal protein deposits in the brain, causing the brain tissue to degenerate. Segment 2. Symptoms, host, on-screen. Now let's talk about the symptoms of CTE. Symptoms can vary, but often include memory loss, confusion, mood changes, like depression and irritability, impaired judgment, impulsive behavior, problems with balance and motor skills. Memory loss is one of the hallmark symptoms associated with CTE, a neurodegenerative brain disease. While CTE primarily develops due to repetitive head trauma, particularly common in contact sports and military service, memory loss is among the cognitive and behavioral symptoms that can manifest in individuals with this condition. Memory impairment in CTE. Memory problems in CTE can vary in severity and presentation. Individuals with CTE may experience difficulties with short-term memory. They may struggle to remember recent events, conversations, or information. Long-term memory. Some individuals may have trouble recalling past experiences or events. Episodic memory. This relates to the ability to remember specific events or episodes from one's life. Semantic memory. It involves difficulties with general knowledge and facts. Progressive nature. The memory loss associated with CTE often worsens over time as the disease progresses. Early on, individuals might notice mild forgetfulness, but as CTE advances, it can lead to more profound memory deficits. Confusion is one of the cognitive symptoms often associated with CTE, a neurodegenerative brain disease primarily linked to repetitive head trauma, such as concussions or repeated blows to the head. While not all individuals with CTE experience confusion, it is a significant symptom for some, and it can manifest in various ways. General cognitive impairment. Confusion in CTE often presents as a more generalized cognitive impairment. Affected individuals may struggle with tasks that require clear thinking, decision-making, and problem-solving. This can lead to difficulties in daily life, work, and relationships. Disorientation. Individuals with CTE may become disoriented in time, place, or situation. They might have trouble keeping track of the date, time of day, or their location. This disorientation can contribute to feelings of confusion and frustration. Memory-related confusion. Memory problems are closely linked to confusion in CTE. Affected individuals may have difficulty remembering recent events or conversations, which can lead to confusion when trying to piece together their daily experiences. Executive function. Impairment. Executive functions are cognitive processes responsible for planning, organizing, initiating tasks, and inhibiting impulsive behaviors. Confusion in CTE can result from executive function impairment, making it challenging to manage everyday tasks effectively. Language and communication difficulties. Some individuals with CTE may experience confusion related to language and communication. They may struggle to find the right words, follow conversations, or express themselves clearly, contributing to feelings of confusion. Mood and behavioral changes. Confusion in CTE can also be associated with mood and behavioral changes. Individuals may become irritable, agitated, or anxious due to their cognitive difficulties, which can further contribute to confusion. Progression of symptoms. Similar to other cognitive symptoms in CTE, confusion can worsen over time as the disease progresses. Early on, individuals may notice mild confusion, but it may become more severe as the condition advances. Let's discuss the connection between mood changes, such as depression and irritability, and CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Mood changes in CTE. Mood changes are common symptoms associated with CTE, 
a neurodegenerative brain disease linked to repetitive head trauma, such as concussions or repeated blows to the head. These mood changes can manifest in various ways, with depression and irritability being two prominent features. Depression. Many individuals with CTE experience symptoms of depression. This can include persistent feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and a loss of interest or pleasure in activities they once enjoyed. Depression can significantly impact an individual's quality of life, leading to social withdrawal, difficulty concentrating, and even thoughts of self-harm or suicide. Irritability and agitation. Irritability and agitation are common emotional symptoms in individuals with CTE. They may become easily angered or frustrated over minor issues. This irritability can strain relationships with family, friends, and coworkers, as affected individuals may have difficulty controlling their emotional responses. Mood swings. Mood swings are another aspect of mood changes in CTE. Individuals may experience rapid and unpredictable shifts in their emotional state, going from calm to irritable or sad without apparent cause. Risk factors for mood changes. The exact mechanisms behind mood changes in CT are not fully understood, but they may be related to the progressive damage to brain tissue caused by abnormal protein deposits, including tau protein. Additionally, the emotional and psychological toll of living with cognitive symptoms may contribute to mood disturbances. Relationship to cognitive symptoms. Mood changes in CTE often co-occur with cognitive symptoms such as memory loss and confusion. These cognitive deficits can lead to frustration and exacerbate feelings of depression and irritability. Impaired judgment and CTE. Impaired judgment is a cognitive symptom often associated with CTE, a progressive neurodegenerative brain condition that is linked to repetitive head trauma. Here are some key points to consider. Definition of impaired judgment. Impaired judgment refers to difficulties in making sound decisions, evaluating risks, and considering the consequences of one's actions. It can lead to making choices that are rash, impulsive, or uncharacteristic of the person's previous behavior. Cognitive deficits in CTE. CTE is characterized by the accumulation of abnormal protein deposits, including tau protein, in the brain. These deposits disrupt normal brain function and can lead to cognitive impairments, including impaired judgment. Risk-taking behavior. Impaired judgment in CTE often manifests as an increased propensity for risk-taking behavior. Individuals may engage in activities or decisions that put themselves or others at risk, such as reckless driving, financial mismanagement, or making impulsive and potentially harmful choices. Impact on daily life. Impaired judgment can have a significant impact on an individual's daily life. It can affect personal relationships, employment, financial stability, and overall well-being. Friends and family may notice concerning changes in behavior and decision-making. Progression of impairment. Like other cognitive symptoms associated with CTE, impaired judgment can progress over time. It may start with subtle changes in decision-making and gradually worsen as the disease advances. Interaction with other CTE symptoms. Impaired judgment often co-occurs with other CTE symptoms, such as memory loss, confusion, mood changes, like depression and irritability, and difficulties with executive function. These cognitive and emotional symptoms can interact and exacerbate one another. Impulsive behavior and CTE. Impulsive behavior is one of the cognitive and behavioral symptoms commonly associated with CTE, a neurodegenerative brain disease linked to repetitive head trauma. Here's a closer look at this connection. Definition of impulsive behavior. Impulsive behavior refers to actions or decisions made without careful thought, often characterized by a lack of consideration for potential consequences. Impulsive individuals may act on immediate urges or emotions, sometimes in ways that are risky or irrational. Cognitive deficits. In CTE, CTE is characterized by the accumulation of abnormal protein deposits, including tau protein, in the brain. These deposits can disrupt normal brain function, leading to cognitive impairments, including impaired impulse control. Impulsive behavior patterns. In individuals with CTE, impulsive behavior may manifest as actions that are out of character for them. They may engage in risky activities, spend money recklessly, or make sudden and unwise decisions without considering the potential negative outcomes. Risk-taking behaviors. Impulsivity can lead to risky behaviors, such as reckless driving, substance abuse, or unsafe sexual practices. These behaviors can have serious consequences for the individual's safety, health, and relationships. Impact on daily life. Impulsive behavior can significantly impact an individual's daily life, including their relationships with family, friends, and colleagues. Loved ones may notice abrupt changes in behavior and decision-making. Progression of impulsivity. 
Like other cognitive and behavioral symptoms associated with CTE, impulsivity can worsen over time as the disease progresses. It may start with subtle changes in behavior and decision-making, but can become more pronounced as the condition advances. Problems with balance and motor skills in CTE. Problems with balance and motor skills are among the physical symptoms associated with CTE, a neurodegenerative brain disease linked to repetitive head trauma. Here's an overview of this connection. Physical symptoms in CTE. While CTE is primarily characterized by cognitive and behavioral symptoms, it can also affect physical functioning. Problems with balance and motor skills are examples of these physical symptoms. Loss of coordination. Individuals with CTE may experience a decline in coordination and fine motor skills. This can manifest as difficulties with tasks that require precise movements, such as handwriting, buttoning shirts, or using utensils. Gait disturbances. CTE can lead to changes in a person's gait or walking pattern. Some individuals may exhibit an unsteady or irregular gait, making it more challenging to maintain balance and walk with stability. Tremors and muscle stiffness. Muscle tremors and stiffness can occur in CTE, affecting an individual's ability to control their movements. This can make tasks that require steady hands or precise motions, such as holding a pen or using tools. More challenging. Difficulty with sports and physical activities. Athletes and individuals who have a history of repetitive head trauma, such as boxers or football players, may notice a decline in their ability to perform sports or physical activities that require agility and coordination. Progression of physical symptoms. Like other symptoms associated with CTE, problems with balance and motor skills can progress over time as the disease advances. Early on, individuals may have mild difficulties, but these problems can become more pronounced with time. Interaction with cognitive symptoms. The physical symptoms of CTE often interact with cognitive and behavioral symptoms, making it even more challenging for affected individuals to navigate daily life. For example, problems with balance can increase the risk of falls and injuries. These symptoms may not appear until years or even decades after the head injuries occurred, making diagnosis challenging. Next, let's discuss the risk factors associated with CTE. While CTE is most commonly linked to contact sports, it can also affect military personnel exposed to blasts, survivors of domestic violence, and individuals with a history of multiple accidents or falls. CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, is primarily associated with repetitive head trauma, particularly in contact sports and military service. The following are some of the key risk factors for CTE. Repetitive head trauma. The most significant risk factor for CTE is a history of repetitive head injuries, including concussions and subconcussive blows. This risk is particularly high in contact sports like football, boxing, soccer, and ice hockey, as well as in military personnel exposed to blast injuries. Duration of exposure. The risk of developing CTE appears to increase with the duration of exposure to repetitive head trauma. Athletes who have played contact sports for many years or individuals who have sustained multiple concussions are at higher risk. Age of exposure. Starting contact sports or experiencing head trauma at a young age may increase the risk of developing CTE. Young brains are still developing and may be more vulnerable to the long-term effects of trauma. Gender. While CTE can affect individuals of any gender, some studies suggest that males may be at a higher risk due to their greater participation in contact sports and combat roles in the military. Genetic factors. Genetics may play a role in determining an individual's susceptibility to CTE. Some genetic variations have been associated with an increased risk of developing the condition. Exposure to high-impact activities. Participation in high-impact sports and activities that involve frequent collisions or head impacts, such as American football or combat sports, increases the risk of head trauma and, subsequently, CTE. Lack of protective equipment. Inadequate or improper use of protective equipment, such as helmets, in contact sports can increase the risk of head injuries and CTE. Cumulative trauma. CTE risk may be influenced by the cumulative effects of multiple head injuries over time. This includes both diagnosed concussions and subconcussive hits that may not result in immediate symptoms. Exposure to explosive blasts. Military personnel exposed to explosive blasts, such as those seen in combat situations, are at risk for CTE due to the blast-induced traumatic brain injuries, BTBI, they may experience. Occupational exposure. Certain occupations that involve repeated head injuries, such as professional wrestling or firefighting, may also increase the risk of CTE. It's important to note that CTE is a complex condition, and not everyone exposed to these risk factors will develop the disease. Researchers continue to study the condition to better understand its causes, risk factors, 
and prevention strategies. Efforts to improve safety measures and reduce the risk of head trauma in sports and military settings are ongoing to mitigate the risk of CTE. Diagnosis of CTE can only be confirmed post-mortem through brain tissue examination. Researchers are actively working on improving diagnostic methods for living individuals, like advanced brain imaging techniques. Ongoing research is crucial to understanding the disease better and finding ways to diagnose it during a person's lifetime. So, what can be done to prevent CTE? Prevention involves minimizing the risk of head trauma, especially in contact sports, through rule changes, improved equipment, and player education. For those already at risk, early diagnosis and management of symptoms, including mental health support, can help improve their quality of life. In conclusion, CTE is a complex and serious neurological condition linked to repetitive head trauma. While there is no cure, understanding and awareness of the disease are vital. Researchers continue to work towards improved diagnosis and treatment. We hope this video has shed light on the important topic of CTE. If you found this information valuable, please share this video to raise awareness and subscribe to the Neurology channel for more insights into the world of neurology. Thank you for joining us today. Stay informed, stay safe, and take care of your brain.